The focus during last weekend in Brussels and elsewhere was on saving the euro. But for millions of Europeans, something else was of equal concern, namely whether they will have enough to eat during the coming weeks and months. Six European governments, including Germany and the UK, have decided to block most of an EU Commission program which provided almost half a billion euros worth of surplus food a year to 18 million of the EU's poorest. An urgent call from the Parliament's EPP group to put the issue on the agenda of the European Council went unheard. Me parece lamentable. In Europe, hay 30 million of personas malnutridas y 79 millones de personas por debajo del umbral de la pobreza. Los principios fundamentales de la Unión están en la Carta de Derechos Fundamentales y el Consejo ha demostrado falta de solidaridad, ha demostrado insensibilidad y ha demostrado ser discriminatorio con referencia a los más necesitados. The six governments planning to slash the Commission's food aid budget want the help to become a mostly national responsibility. Their reasoning is that in times of crisis the EU must save at all levels. NGOs, such as the social platform, doubt that it will work. It's not a euro crisis, it's a crisis of the financial sector, it's a crisis of public budget, which is due to speculation. Uh, and the food aid program has nothing to do with speculation. Uh, and it, it aims and targets those who are the most deprived, which is completely different. If national governments don't change their minds, three quarters of the Commission's 480 million yearly food aid will run out by 2013. Behind the smiles at the European Council summit lay the stress of saving the Eurozone. Discussions on Sunday centered around finding cash and fast. Banks must find 100 billion, whilst the bailout fund needs to be raised to 1 trillion euros, which requires a controversial change to laws governing the EU. It's absolutely necessary to, to change the treaty. We don't know the date only. The final decision should be taken Wednesday. Out of 27,000 Europeans interviewed for an EU survey, a large majority feared the crisis would last many more years. However, most Europeans believed that Europe was dealing well with the crisis, with 65% in favour of the creation of a European credit rating agency to counter the effect of private agencies such as Moody's, which has been blamed in part for escalating the Eurozone crisis. With a 90% turnout, the Tunisian election seemingly went without a hitch. MEP Lambert van Nistelrooy, returning from the region this Monday, told of his encounters with some of the electorate. I'm saying it's the uh, plus beau jour de ma vie, yeah? the one, most wonderful day of my life. And when I said, you, you are waiting now for three, four hours in the sun, they said, listen, man, we've been waiting for 25 years. <laughs> 